Hey there. Start here. Um, so we've got the Dark Phoenix, uh, which is a Reaper instead of an Avian. Um, so Gumi apparently made some changes to this boss from the JP version. So in the JP version, it was a bird. It was an Avian race. It's now a Reaper. Also in JP, um, it had a lot more attacks in its, in its AI. They have gone in and tweaked the AI to the point that it does significantly fewer attacks. And there are a lot of people saying that that is because of Riku and that <laughs> Gumi has finally taken some action uh, to sort of nullify Riku. Now, a lot of people are upset by this. Um, totally understand your grievance. Personally, uh, I am happy because I don't have a Riku, which means I might actually be able to get a decent rank this time. So in, in, in all of the Dark Visions events where Riku has been uh, top dog, I have, like, I haven't even made it in the top 2,000. Like, I'm, like, just staying inside the top 3,000 in Dark Visions. Um, when Riku is not in play, I'm usually able to stay in the top 1,000. So I'm kind of happy that Riku's not getting to come out and play for this one. All right. Um, and so um, I will show you the team that uh, that I use to get the score that I have currently. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my current uh, score right there. That 205, 306 on the damage was a 17.2 billion burst. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get that on this one. We'll see. Um, I think it, it should be somewhere between 16 and 18 billion. Um, I think if, if, if everyone rolls high, we, we can definitely hit over 18 bill with this team. But we'll just see. Uh, so obviously I've got my EX3 Rain in here. Um, he's the, the big dog, the, the top dog. He's got the leader skill. Um, we are bringing Laswell. Even though he's EX1, he's still extremely strong as an ice uh, as an ice unit. And when he's got Rain's leader skill, he's actually pretty strong. Now, unfortunately, mine is only EX1, so he's not going to get the 150 amp, um, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, we've got Ayaka back because uh, she's one of my strongest ice units. You notice we are in the ice slot, even though we've got rain on the party. That's because we're using Ayaka's 100% ice amp for the rest of the party. Um, <clears throat> and so that does kind of hamper rain a little bit, all right, because it, it brings down his, um, his total amp. All right, so he could, if we had the fire slot and we weren't doing an ice imbue, he could get as high as like a 170% amp. And as it is, he'll only have a 135. But... The fact that everybody else is getting a 100% amp because we don't have like a party one, we don't have a party 100% fire amp really. If we did, I would use it, but we don't. So um, this is this is what we're going with, and, and this is just the best combination that I can come up with currently. All right, I might figure something else out down the line, but honestly, this got me a good enough score that I'm happy, and I'm just going to sit back and see where I end up by the end of the event. All right, so real quick, let's get to the gear. We've got um, Rain here. Um, you know, we don't really care about his normal form at all. Um, in his Brave Shift form, just all the best gear that I could give him to get his uh, attack as high as possible. All right, he doesn't need much killers. Um, so he's got a Cursed Being and Undead Killer Plus to cap off his, uh, his Reaper killers. I gave him I Love uh, Chocobos because everyone in the party needs to be Paralyze and Confuse Resistant, all right? Those are the two uh, status ailments that this boss can potentially throw at you every turn. So it's easy just to make, you know, the easiest thing is just to make everybody resistant, all right, to to those ailments, all right? So that's what I've done. Uh, obviously, he's got his own vision card because he's EX3. Um, <clears throat> and there you go, 300% Reaper, you know, all stacked up on all that stuff. I also gave him... Um, uh, if for Esper, because he will be using Bar Fire uh, Bar Fira on turn one for the 60% fire buff to everybody. That's for turn one. Okay, so make sure he's got Ifrit on him. All right, Esther in her normal form, um, you know, just some generally decent uh, attack gear because she will be contributing a, a little bit of damage. Indestructible Light for Chain Cap. Uh, she hits Reaper Killer super easy, so you don't have to worry about that so much. Uh, give her something with... Um, so this, this is actually really great to use on anybody because it specifically does Paralyze and Confuse. Esther doesn't need that, but this is a good one for, for people because it specifically does those... Uh, 
those ailments. And then it does 30% across the board elemental resistance. That's really important for keeping uh, Esther safe um, on the turns where she's in her normal form. And then just her vision card. All right, it's the best thing for her here. Um, in her brace shift form, um, two blizzard orbs is very, very, uh, very, very important because we want to make sure we're able to refill her LB gauge uh, to use that on turn three. All right, um, a good healthy spread of elemental resistances is nice just to make sure she doesn't take any damage, but it's kind of overkill. Make sure she has her TMR equipped um, uh, in her brave shift form as well. Okay, that's important. Um, and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> All right, Ish uh, is, again, she's here for that crowned break. All right, it's really, really nice. I, what can I say? It's, it's really great because 89% defense and spirit means you can mix and match your physical and your, uh, and your magical damage dealers. All right, and then 160% ice and peril. Always nice to throw a little cherry on top. Um, so otherwise, just some, some decent magic gear. She's, um, she's got Ayaka's vision card, obviously, so she can chain with Ayaka. Um, this is Regina's STMR. Um, my Regina is only EX. I think she's actually still EX. She's either EX0 or EX1, which basically makes her worthless for this fight um, because you can't use an EX0 or 1 Regina to any real uh, effect without getting access to her um, uh, her SLB before turn 5, right? So, yeah. Um, but I did Moogle that STMR for the chain cap boost on Ish. Uh, and then Fryavia's sword because it has some Reaper Killer on it. All right, it's only 50%, but every little bit helps, right? Um, and then, yeah, just some Reaper Killers. Okay, she's only at 250, but that's fine. All right, she's not she's not doing a whole heap of damage here, but uh, every little bit counts. Um, Laswell in his normal form. I just gave him Magma Stone for some fire resist, so he takes no damage on turn one. And then uh, Call of the Wild, um, since I... Since I don't have an EX2 Laswell, he's not going to get the LB fill on turn one. So Call of the Wild is there so that he can use I Wanted to Go With You, which is Zidane's STMR. So he's going to be singing for the first three turns. All right. And then in his Brave Shift form, uh, we went with a sword build because um, we're going to use, well, first of all, it's the highest mag weapon that I have. And Rain's going to be supplying the 40% sword in peril anyways. So might as well. Yep. Uh, Cryle Scrunchy. Um, you also notice that on Ish because that does full status ailment resistance, so that's really nice. Um, otherwise, pretty similar build to what uh, you may have seen in my previous video. Yuna's Necklace for LB damage. Magister's Ring is really just there for the, the high mag and the flat stats. His STMR is crucial for all the, uh, for activating his, um, uh, for activating his trust ability, which gives you the Omni Killer and 1500 flat mag. So definitely worth the STMR Moogle there. Um, and then just finishing up his LB damage and Reaper Killers in the Materias. Um, and then, yeah, Resolute Knight. Again, your, your best magic card is also a good slot in here. So, you know, your highest mag uh, vision card here. It doesn't have to be Resolute Knight. Um, that's just a good one on Laswell. All right, and so he's got 300 Magic Reaper. Again, make sure it's Magic Reaper because he is a pure mage, and then 300% LB damage. So he is good to go. All right. Uh, Rosa, again, uh, her gear is fairly irrelevant. She's not taking any kind of damage. She is literally just here for the Reaper Killers for everybody, but she's also going to be useful for a couple of other things. So this ability, all right, does a 90% across the board elemental resist buff. Very, very nice. It also chains Mirror of Equity. We're not going to be using that, but I know a couple of people are using this skill uh, to chain with, like, their their um, Flaring Aether Rain, for example. So, you know, that's good to keep in mind, but we're just going to be focusing on the Reaper Killers. Uh, we're going to be focusing on those Resist buffs, and also she can do Protectica and Shelga to plus three, which is really nice because it gives you 75% physical magic mitigation uh, and 50% general mitigation very very nice um so yeah she can be ex0 we're not using her lb or her slb we're not using any of that so she can be ex0 and work perfectly fine here all right ayaka uh, again just as much high mag gear as you can give her all right and um yep she should do just fine indestructible light for the chain cap boost um 
yeah, she doesn't need LB damage. I just couldn't figure out what to put else, what else to put in that slot, because um, I just I don't have hateful agent. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for her. She's got 300 Reaper Killer. Yep, that's all she really needs, and she's good to go. Um, she doesn't need to be EX3 for this strategy. She can be an EX2, all right? She has to be at least EX2, though, to get her SLB on turn four. That's when I'm gonna use it. So an EX2 Ayaka, at least, uh, and that should work just fine. All right, well, let's get in here and see how we do. See if I can beat my last roll. I've only done this one, like, I think three times with this team fully optimized, and I did, uh, I think I low rolled at like 16 a couple of times and then did a, a decent roll at 17.2. So we'll see if I can beat that. All right, first things first, um, Rosa is just going to do Shelga and Protectica. Um, Esther's just gonna guard, all right? Cause we're gonna get dispelled at the, on the boss's turn. So we don't wanna use any kind of like cover or anything like that or, or, or any of Esther's mitigations cause they're just gonna get, um, yeah, they're just going to get wiped out. We'll do full breakdown for the breaks. Ayaka can do um, her LB for the mod boost. All right, Laswell will start singing. Rain will do bar fire. All right, now there's a bit of RNG in what the boss does here. Um, <clears throat> Wing Buffet is perfect, all right, because Esther will cover that. And then you see we didn't take, we hardly took any damage from the, the fire magic. If the boss decides to do two, um, what is it, Chaotic Surge or something like that. Chaotic Surge is a non-elemental AoE magic attack. And if it decides to do two of those instead of the physical attacks, then the party's going to take that to the face. Now it's not much damage, but it might affect your damage taken score. And that is the only turn where the party's going to take potentially any damage. From here on out, Esther's going to cover everything. So if... If the boss does do something stupid and does like two chaotic surges on turn one, just back out and come back into the fight, all right? But from now on, Esther's covering everything. So Electromagnetic, Storm Guardian, and Discharge and Recharge, which will get rid of the Imperils, because we're currently imperiled to all elements by 100%. So we're gonna get rid of those with Discharge and Recharge, okay? Ish can just guard. Rain is going to do True Undermine for the higher attack and mag breaks. Um, Rose is going to reapply the Shelga and Protectica because those, those have been dispelled. Ayaka can do Introduction, Spirit of the Season, Holiday Song. We don't want to deal like too much damage to this boss uh, because if you push 70% threshold, it will dispel your party again. We don't want that. So do everything you can to not push the 70% threshold. So you see the boss puts up uh, a field every turn, <clears throat> um, which makes doing any kind of like imperil fields on the boss early on pretty useless. Um, you can you can do an imperil field on your burst turn, that's fine, um, but doing it before your burst turn is useless. So that makes it a little bit trickier. I know uh, some people have been using uh, Summoner Lina. Um, she's a great, great option if you're doing a fire team. Um, you can use Tyvus and Ish, but they have to be EX0, <laughs> um, so that you can use their normal LB on the burst turn. Um, I actually, that was the first team I, I tried, and it actually worked beautifully, but it just wasn't enough damage. So then I switched Ayaka in and did much better. All right, so um, on this turn, Ayaka is going to do presents for everyone to start the ice ramp. Uh, before we do that, let's have Rain go ahead and put a stack on his LB. Esther's going to shift and do her LB after Rain is done. You don't want to do any kind of chaining here because that's going to do too much damage to the boss. Okay, Esther can go. Ish can guard again. All right, Rosa is going to... Um, we'll do Prayer of Vitality and... Uh, true Glorious Reign of Arrows. That's for the 90% um, across the board elemental resists. All right, Esther's actually already got plenty of resists there. That's good. All right, um, Cheerful Caroler Ayaka will just do her ice ramp now. All 
All right. Okay, so now Esther can do Energizing Bunny, Bolting Slice, Calm Before the Storm to get ready for her burst next turn. Rosa is going to go ahead and do Double Reaper Killer. All right, that's Prayer of Exorcism on Rain and on Laswell. All right, Ish will do her Crowned ability. Um, Ayaka does her SLB. All right, Laswell is going to shift. Now, this is one of the reasons why Laswell is um, is actually really, uh, really crucial for this fight because the boss has buffs to fire and ice resistance. And you got to get rid of those because it's a 100% buff to those elements. You got to get rid of it. Laswell is awesome for this fight because he can do Finger Snap Illusion, which is a perfect dispel. It's an on demand perfect dispel. So, we're going to use that to get rid of it. So Laswell is going to do Power of Emotions, Finger Snap Illusion, and then end with Magitech Suit Boost for the Mod Boost and the Mag Store buff. All right, Rain's going to do all of his little skills here. Uh, we'll do Armor Grant Me the Power, Elemental Burst Fire, and um, actually wait, just because I don't want to do too much damage. Armor Grant Me the Power, Prominence Fall, because we have we don't have any uh, Fire in Peril yet. So prominence fall and then elemental burst fire. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, now if you wanted to, you could build your Esther full evade in her normal form, and um, she would take no physical damage. She would still take some magic damage if, if the boss did... I don't think the boss did any of the non-elemental magic attacks on this one. That's like a first. Usually it does more than that. But, um, yeah, you could always just have Esther full evade to take care of that. But then you, you're going to lose some attack that way, probably. All right, so obviously Rain does his LB, Laswell does his... Esther does hers. All right, we don't have any imperil fields to worry about, so we don't have to worry about like Esther overriding anything. So Esther can really go at any time. Um, we're gonna do our Reaper Killer to Esther and to Ayaka. All right, Ish does whipped cream. Ayaka does her finale. Okay. So we'll do um, Esther, Ayaka, Ish, Laswell, Rain. All right, that's the order in which, I think that's right, is that? No, I think I do Esther, Laswell, Rain, Ayaka, Ish. I think that's how I do it. No, how did I do it last time? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll do Esther, Ayaka, Ish, Laswell, Rain. All right, and they'll be in very quick succession. That's just the order that I'm gonna tap. Should get 126 hits. All right. If you got 126, then you know everybody got in the chain. Let's see how we did. Ah, only 16.1. So that's a low roll. That's fine. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's see who rolled low on me. <laughs> oh my god. So the, the one time Rain rolled his like his usual so Rain usually rolls like you know um usually like 6.3, 6.4, 6.5. Um the the time I got my 17.2 billion roll was when Laswell and Ayaka both rolled I think 4.5 bill and then Rain rolled 5.5. He rolled like super low. Um so yeah, I think if everybody rolled high, this this team has the potential to hit 18 billion. But yeah, I mean that's that's variance for you. Uh, it, it's one of the reasons why I hate dark vision so much because I just hate rolling for variance. But anyways, that's the team. That's the rotation. That's how we get it done. You know, feel free to re-roll as much as you want, trying to get that high score. Uh, I am done with this dark visions. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful to you guys. Um, I'll be working on 
uh, a couple more clears of the grace of lightning trial. So um, I definitely, I had some requests saying, can you do one with flaring ether rain? I'll definitely do a grace of lightning trial with flaring ether rain. I'll be working on that this week. I'll also try an all Esther clear. We'll see how that goes. So um, stay tuned for those. If you have anything else you want me to, uh, to try out, um, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the other side.